Welcome back. If you couldn't get enough of that sunshine today, it will continue tomorrow. Bright skies, but you will feel a bit of a cooler northeast breeze tomorrow. That'll keep temperatures at bay in the mid 40s. You can see that northeast breeze and cooler temperatures as you're waking up tomorrow. Low to mid 30s. You might want to grab that winter coat for your Sunday morning plans. That east breeze in action by the afternoon, keeping our more lakefront areas in the mid 40s. Port Clinton and Fremont sitting in the low 40s. Meanwhile, Ottawa and Defiance could make it closer to 50 degrees although the sunshine will be abundant despite those cooler temperatures. I do want to talk about winds because that's a big part of our weather story as we go into the next couple days. The wind was fairly calm this morning. You probably noticed it ramping up a little bit in the afternoon. Tomorrow morning, the winds will be coming in out of the northwest. Those arrows show you the direction the winds coming from. By the afternoon, the winds shift to the northeast. Of course, this time of year, that lake breeze tends to cool us off a little bit because the water temperature is so chilly. By the afternoon, winds coming due out of the northeast there, possibly cranking it up to around 20 miles an hour in Napoleon, Wauseon, and Ottawa. As we fast forward into your Monday afternoon, turning to more of an east breeze, and I am forecasting our next rain system on Monday afternoon and evening that is also going to bring some gusty winds, possibly up to 30 miles an hour. Speaking of rain, that first alert forecast does feature a bit of a damper weather pattern. Rain likely late in the day on Monday. If you have outdoor plans, I do think the first part of the day is going to stay dry, but late is when we want to focus on that rain chance. And yes, you read that right. There is the chance that we do see a little bit of a brush with winter and see a brief period of wintry mix. Here's the hour by hour forecast. I want to start things off at 5 p.m. on Monday. Maybe you're heading home from work or taking the kids to after school activities. You might actually see a few snowflakes fluttering from the sky. It's not going to stick. It's not going to cause any travel impacts, but still a brush with winter is possible as we look towards your Monday evening. Overnight, I do expect that to transition to mostly rain shown in green, but that pink color indicates still a little bit of mixed potential into early Tuesday. By that Tuesday morning commute as you're heading into work or wherever you need to go on Tuesday, maybe an appointment. It's going to be raining in many spots. You'll notice not everyone's going to be seeing rain, but still could see a few little downpours of rain early on Tuesday morning, and that's just going to kick off a damper weather pattern. I'll get to that 10-day forecast in just a second, but in case you forgot, we lose an hour of sleep tonight. Make sure to brew that coffee extra strong tomorrow. The sun rises at 747 a.m., sunset 740 p.m. 10-day forecast, a damper weather pattern. This will be a good week to have that first alert weather app with several rain chances.